IVF success rates. The success rate in IVF is an important issue both for patients and for doctors. Patients obviously want to select a clinic which will maximize their chance of getting pregnant, but they're only interested in whether they will be successful or not. They don't really care about what happens to the other patients in the clinic, which means the outcome is either 0% or 100% for the individual patient which obviously is very difficult for any doctor to predict. No one can say what the outcome of a single cycle is going to be, which is why clinics usually talk in terms of clinic success rates. This can be a problem because it's very easy to manipulate this number. For one thing, most Indian clinics aren't very honest about what they will report. They will cherry pick. They will often manipulate. They will actually lie. And you can select your numbers in such a way that you can maximize the numerator and talk about anyone who has a positive HCG as a pregnancy. And you can minimize your denominator by only including patients who actually end up with an embryo transfer or only including good prognosis patients, which means you can manipulate your success rate to make it as high as 40%, 50%, 60%, really what you like. And the trouble in India is there's no one to audit these figures and check so that pretty much clinics get away with anything they want. And this can be very harmful for patients which is why patients need to ask intelligent questions if they want to get to the bottom of what the success rate is going to be for them as an individual. Always remember, you need to be patient and you should be talking in terms of cumulative pregnancy rates, which is your chance of getting pregnant over three or four cycles. And more importantly, the live birth rate. What are your chances of taking home a baby at the end of three, four cycles? That's the question patients should be asking, but unfortunately, that's not the answer which clinics are giving.